It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Seattle Seahawks and the New York Giants. And it's coming up next. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the New York Giants. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, these Giants seem to be a team on the improve. They won their first playoff game since Super Bowl 46 last year. Now, what needs to happen to take that next step? They just need to continue to amass talent, get those guys going, and become contributors. And on the offensive side of the ball, become much more explosive in the passing game. Meanwhile, for the visiting Seahawks, most of the pundits, yourself included, Charles, gave their draft class high marks. And that comes after a year where they struck gold in the fifth round with Tariq Woolen. And they also struck gold in the offensive line, getting brand new tackles at left and right. Struck gold with a running bat, who was a big time runner as a rookie. Yeah, there's something to be said about building through the draft. So the Seahawks ready to take over on offense, and it is a first-time Pro Bowler who leads him out, Charles, in his 11th year now, Geno Smith. When the Seahawks named Smith the starter last season, it gave him an opportunity he wasn't sure he would get again. And then he became one of the best quarterbacks in football and sustained it across a full 17 games when he could. And oh, right away, he lost the football. Oh, side is Gallup. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. Gino now to throw. That's complete. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the defense not able to get it. From, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free. Take it away from the other team. And now you have that chance. There's a little bit of depletion when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Fielded at the 20. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants ready to go now on offense. And under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be. Someone who could threaten the defense throwing it and especially as a runner. To about the 33-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now Jones. And this will be caught. It's Isaiah Hodgins. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a giant first down on a gain of 16. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down carry for Barkley. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Throwing Jones. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. They'll get 34 yards there. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. No score after one on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they are looking at a second and five situation. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carry. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there, knocking it away, and preventing that first touchdown. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. Gano's kick is good, and the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks in totals end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. This one a little slow to get cooking, just a 3-0 scoreline as they begin with a first and 10. A quick throw out to Lockett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. That's how you draw up the run pass option right there. You get a chunk play out of it. And you know quarterbacks love to throw the RPOs because oftentimes they're in breaking routes, but receivers love it even more. The ball gets to them quickly, allows them to put some moves on in the secondary. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. To throw is Smith. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. A gain of 22 yards. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three nothing, our score. Here we go, here we go. Walker now on first and ten. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still. Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? 
Now Smith throwing the out route, and he connects with Fan. So just three yards on the completion there. And third and one now. That was an okay hookup there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Smith going to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. To the air again, Smith. And he comes back with one complete. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing now is Geno. Pass complete. He's got Smith and Jimbo. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now Geno. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Myers' kick is good. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Not too much to show you scoring-wise in that first half. Just a couple of field goals make up all the scoring. But I wouldn't be surprised if we're close to a breakthrough and things should open up as we move along. Both teams making their final adjustments for the second half to come. And to bring the action your way, we go back to MetLife Stadium and Brandon God. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. It's a tied football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. And a missed tackle there as he pushes forward for a gain of four. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Third and four. Looking to throw. Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was a 
same case on that play. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. I know we spend a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Now here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And yeah, that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. Throw out wide to Walker. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Third down at six. Here's Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end. And he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Again, Smith. And got his man complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one good for 37 yards. He just had the feeling that sooner or later, someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively. But here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage. And it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Up the middle, here's Walker. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that game. Sticking with Walker on second down. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. Myers' kick is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. We still wait on the first touchdown of the game, but a second field goal now makes it a 6-3 score. Yeah, I know a lot of people would call this the definition of winning ugly. To me, this is gorgeous. I'm a defender, right? I love these kind of games. The tension is high. Who's going to make the play to win it? And right now, that field goal may be the advantage they need. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result that he opted for the touchback. And the Giants ready to come out now. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And his throw is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. On second and ten, Jones. That's 
going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot, but couldn't connect. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Jones throw on target to Shepard. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Here's first and ten. Barkley inside handoff. And strong running there as he's inside the ten and down to the eight-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Second down, here's Barkley again. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Here now, third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then, that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. and more. This is fourth and a yard. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He takes it across for the touchdown and they take it to the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Wow. game this has been and what a drive that was Charles to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter and partner that's a job well done by everyone from the players to the guys calling the plays and if I may introduce just one downside to the mix might be a little bit too much time left enough on the clock for a final last ditch effort to try and steal this win away the touchdown here to kick it away. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. So Gino and the Seahawks down 10-6, a little over 40 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Smith. throw here is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Smith to throw. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Official foul. Roughing the 
Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. And the ball is knocked out, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take the ball away from you, no matter what position you play, you've got to take care of the rock. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Second and 12, and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. Able to push his way through. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Here we go. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he is going to have a New York first down, and the Giants are going to win the football game. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the player of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. 